Here's a diagram of Jim's garden, um, and it's a quadrilateral. In fact, it's a trapezium. Uh, you know it's a trapezium because you know these are both right angles. These are both 90. Okay, so that side and that side are parallel. Jim wants to cover his garden in, uh, with grass seed. Uh, grass seed is, is sold in bags. There is enough grass seed in each bag to cover 20 meters squared of garden. Each bag costs 4 dollars Work out the cost, the least cost of putting um, seed on there. So we need the area of this patch. This, we need the area of this. And it's a trapezium, okay? And you will see the following in your formula booklet. So if you go to the front of your formula booklet, you see that there. It says that the area of a trapezium is this formula. And what that basically means is the two parallel sides, you add them up. So you add up the two parallel sides, this and this. You multiply it by the perpendicular distance they are apart. So you multiply that by the 9. And lastly, you halve your result. So the area of a trapezium in this case, uh, let's do it. Well, it would be a half multiplied by 12 plus 18, and 12 plus 18 is 30, multiplied by the height, which is equal to 9. Okay? Now, a half times 30 is 15, so we're doing 15 multiplied by 9. Now, we can't have a calculator. This is what I do. You don't have to write this down, but this is what I do in my head. I do 15 multiplied by 10 is 150. Right, that's 10 15s. I want 9 15s, so I take off the 15, I get 135. So this is equal to 135 meters squared. Now, each bag covers 20 meters squared. So, how many bags? How many bags does he need? Well, he has to buy whole bags. Um, seven bags will get him 140 meters squared, so he needs seven bags because seven times 20 is 140 meters squared. So the least cost, the cost of that, well, he wants to therefore do seven multiplied by 499. Again, let's use some number sense. Let's instead do seven multiplied by five, which is 35. And then what we need to do, uh, uh, we need to take off, uh, that's seven times five pounds. We need to take off, we've, counted up a penny seven times, we need to take off seven, uh, seven pence there. So that's going to be equal to uh, 35, and we're going to subtract seven pence. So it's going to be 34.93. So the cheapest he can get it for is 34 pounds and 93 pence, and we're done.